Hello and welcome to the News in Brief. In the headlines, varied reactions to President Akufado's statements on corruption, clocks act to strike over three-tier pension scheme in two weeks, and Ms. V leaves Lynx Entertainment after eight years. My name is Jessica Echampon. Following President Nana Dodankwa Akufado's statement at the Ghana Bar Association Conference in Takrade that it was not his job to clear or convict any person accused of wrongdoing or for engaging in acts of corruption, and that his job was to act on allegations of corruption by referring the issue or issues to the proper investigative agencies for the relevant inquiry and necessary action, there has been varied reactions. On Tuesday, the National Democratic Congress held a press conference and General Secretary Johnson Asiedun Ketia had this to say. From the extraordinary corrupt and merry multilineal scandal in which the President Nicodemusly granted executive approval for a deal that was inflated by a whopping $800 million to the PDS scandal under which cronies of Mr. Kufado and his relatives were handed a 22 billion Ghana CD valued asset like ECG when they had not met either the financial or technical requirements to the PPA scandal where the man appointed by the president to head the organization ended up awarding 14 contracts to himself and sold some to third parties. To the NYA scandal where a 4.5 million Ghana CDs contract was unlawfully awarded to an entity without recourse to procurement laws, it has been established beyond all reasonable doubt that corruption is the way of life for the president and his government. In responding to the NDC, the New Patriotic Party held a press conference today and General Secretary John Buedu had this response. Fair-minded Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude. I have no doubt that the NDC speech was a tasteless and unappetizing soup full of innuendos, character smearing, vague suppositions, and no solutions. The Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources took its turn at the Middle Press series today and Sector Minister Kweku Asomachrebe warned persons still engaged in illegal mining to stop their trade. Responsible mining practice is a big challenge in the small-scale mining industry. As part of measures by government to stop illegal mining and poor mining practices by small-scale miners, the government through, through Ghana Geological Survey Authority and Minerals Commission has delineated a number of areas to be geologically investigated to identify zones of high mineral potential for small-scale mining. The Civil and Local Government Staff Association of Ghana, CLOCSAG, has served notice that it will embark on a nationwide strike if government fails to address all issues regarding the implementation of the three-tier pension scheme in two weeks. At a press conference in Accra today, the Executive Secretary of Cloxac, Mr. Isaac Bampo Adu, said, although President Akufuado during those years made the celebrations, directed the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations to liaise with the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT, to bring finality to all outstanding issues regarding the implementation of the three-tier pension scheme in three months, nothing has been done about it. Cloxac is serving notice that if within two weeks, the issues raised are not adequately resolved. It will be compelled to embark on a nationwide strike to back its demands. Transport operators have announced that there will be a 10% increase in transport fares effective Monday, September 16, 2019. This, the operator said, was to help accommodate the recent increase in fuel prices in line with the administrative instruments on public transport fares. Yesterday, some indigents of Elmina, the hometown of the chairman of the group Indum, the Papakwesi Indum, hit the streets with a demonstration and called on President Akufuadu to intervene in the restoration of GN Savings and Loans Company, whose license was recently revoked by the Bank of Ghana. According to the demonstrators, the decision by the Bank of Ghana to revoke the license of GN Savings and Loans 
was a deliberate plan by some agents of state to destroy Dr. Kwesi Ito's business empire for political and personal reasons. And to our last story, Ghanaian singer Ms. V has terminated an eight-year contractual relationship with Lynx Entertainment. The singer, whose real name is Vera Hamenokweda, in a statement said, the contract between her and the record label was terminated by mutual content. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh and follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic Gap and on Twitter and YouTube at GraphicGH. My name is Jessica Echampon. Thanks for watching.